What are some of the differences between modern saber fencing and historical saber fencing? One of the first things is that the on-guard position in the modern sport tends to have a point towards the outside. When you're in a tierce guard in a lot of historical fencing sources, you tend to see the point more towards the inside. Modern saber centers around the direct attack, coming straight up from the guard. Whereas historical sources tend to focus a little bit more on horizontal moulinades and opposition cuts. So rather than just going straight out all the time with absence of blade, I'm usually trying to lock in my opponent's sword with opposition when I can. Both of those things actually still exist in one another. So you're going to see short stop cuts with the saber, and you're going to sometimes see bigger arm cuts or molinelli with the modern saber. So one thing I'd say is the core of saber still exists in the modern world. It just plays out really differently because of the rule set and the mindset of the people playing it. For me, I don't really see them as separate things. I kind of see them as a continuation of one another, and there's really good benefits to learning both.